Hey there, this is another GIMP video. So basically, I'm just going to teach you a neat effect that I had just learned a while ago. A really smart guy had um, featured um, this particular effect in one of his articles, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, it is a really cool effect. So to those who already know this, good for you. I myself is amazed. And this is for the benefit of those who don't know yet. So to all my subscribers, thanks for the sub. More vids to come. And uh, let's begin. Go to File. Go to New. And I'm going to set my size to 200 by 80 pixels. Depends on you and how big your text would look like. You go to Advanced Options. And then change your fill width transparency instead of foreground color you must fill it with transparency like so hit ok and this is what mine looks like so we go to our layers window by hitting control L and then we're going to make two more layers with the same size so I'm gonna name this one Choco fill type would be transparency hit ok and another one this time it's choco 2 hit ok so your layers window should look like this now we go to our second layer so you select your second layer go back to the workspace go to select hit all after that you go to select you hit shrink so I'm going to shrink this by 10 pixels and this will determine my border so it depends on you how your border would look like then we go to select and then rounded rectangle to make it smoother so I'll go with 25% radius hit OK and there we go after you have created an inner rectangle you fill it up with white so get your bucket fill tool Make sure your foreground color is white and fill it up like so. And then you go to select again. This time you hit none. After that, we're going to pass our second layer to a filter called the Gaussian Blur filter. So you go to filters, then blur, then Gaussian Blur. Like so. So I'm going to pass this to a 10 by 10 pixels filter. So it really depends on you and how your blur radius would be. And then your blur method should be IIR. So if you're done with this, just hit OK. And it should look like this at the moment. Now we go to our layers window and then we are going to select our third layer. This time, change your foreground color to the color of your chocolate. So, in my case, I'll go with milk chocolate, so I chose brown. These are my values for the brown color. If you want dark chocolate, you go with black or dark brown. And you could also use white for white chocolate. So anyway, if you're satisfied with your color, just hit OK. Select your bucket fill tool. Alright. And then you fill the whole thing up like so. So your layers window should look like this one. Okay, still in the third layer. We pass this to a filter. Go to filters. Go to map. Go to bump map. Like so. Then make sure the following are followed. So the map type should be linear. Check to compensate for darkening. Set your depth. I'll go with 12. Set your ambient, I'll go with 100, um, X offset, Y offset, it depends on you on how your values would look like. Then you go to bump map and make sure this is set to your second layer, the one with the border. So you do that and you hit OK. So your chocolate should look like this one. Mm, yeah, it's yummy. Anyway, so this is how it should look like at this moment and we're going to put in our text 
okay now we go to our text tool to create our text make sure that your foreground color is white set your font set your size make sure it's big enough and then just click anywhere on the chocolate type in whatever you want to type in I'll go with geeky Hit close and then move this I chose cursive but it depends on you and what type of font you would want so I'll just put this at the center so if you're satisfied with that go to your filters go to blur go to Gaussian blur and then blur this one with the blur radius of 2 pixels 2 by 2 like so hit it alright should look like this one after that we're going to pass it again to another filter this time to our map filter but before doing that go to your layers window select your third layer the one with the, um, the brown or the color or the filled up color so you select that one go to filters and then pass this to our bump map again like so so change your bump map to your text so it will be this one so as you can see it's like embedded on our chocolate now this time we check compensate for darkening as well as invert bump map like so then the map type should be spherical alright after that you set your depth I'll go with the same values uh, set your ambient to 100 and if you're satisfied with, with what it looks like you hit OK so if you want to retain the white um, line or it could be a milk design or whatever then you go with this one if not you can delete your previous layer or your latest layer here delete that and it will just be this one so there you go those are the effects that I want to share thanks for watching this video and I advise you guys to check out my YouTube partners they're on my channel again thanks for watching and as always just have fun